New information tonight on the ongoing sexual harassment investigation into DC, uh, former DC Deputy Mayor John Falchicchio. Today, council held a hearing on the mayor's response to that investigation. DC News Now reporter Daniel Hamburg was at that hearing and joins us with the key takeaways. As we know, last month's report from Arnold and Porter found that Falchicchio sexually harassed three staff members. Today, we learned there have been multiple criminal referrals made, but there has been a back and forth between the mayor's office of legal counsel and D.C.'s attorney general. The mayor's office of legal counsel, or MOLC, substantiated claims of sexual harassment against John Falchicchio about a year ago. The office is in possession of more than 300,000 documents. In a letter obtained by DC News Now dated June 14th, DC's attorney general threatened legal action if all materials were not given to him to investigate potential criminal charges. You don't get to come in and demand things when you have no authority, no subpoena, anything. It strikes me as you're hiding something. I offered it to them. How and can I hide something I offered? In Wednesday's hearing, Mulk Deputy Director Vanessa Natale claimed they offered limited documents to what she believed was relevant to the criminal referral, but it wasn't taken. But after prodding from Councilmember Brianne Nadeau, Natale did pledge to send those limited documents, which she did Wednesday afternoon. In the hearing, it was also revealed Mulk still has Falchicchio's government phone and computer, something Natale said was not needed at the time of Mulk's investigation because of other evidence they had. It is my sincere hope that a law enforcement agency takes possession of those so they can determine whether or not any criminal activity has occurred that we are not already aware of. Law enforcement was never consulted about his personal devices, which independent investigators said should have happened. I am feeling more hopeful that we can make some changes to the mayor's policy to better protect employees and better streamline a process should this happen again. Today's hearing will inform upcoming legislation being brought by Nadeau and council member Anita Bonds. Nadeau is seeking to have a permanent bill so that any allegations of sexual harassment against a member of the executive branch and mayoral appointees will automatically trigger an independent investigation. At the Wilson Building, Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now.